USDA's Agriculture Deputy Secretary Torres Mall and the California Agriculture Secretary and others toured the Center for Land-Based Learning to learn more about how the organization is empowering future ag leaders. For over 30 years, the nonprofit is making strides in the ag industry. We run lots of different educational programs, including for young and beginning farmers, and that's uh, a big Part of our work is to train the next generation of farmers and help give them as much support as possible here in the farm to fork capital of the United States. Officials discussed how the USDA under the Biden administration is helping new farms with resources while addressing some of the challenges like labor shortages. Since 1981, over 545,000 farms uh, have have gone out of business and that's also over 1.51 million acres and one of the reasons why is that we've just been poised towards efficiency. Torres Small applauds a nonprofit for using the over one million dollar grant from the USDA toward farmer education and the development of local and regional markets including its new mobile farmers market outreach effort. I'm so impressed by the community that they've been able to build here. A uh, community of farmers and uh, also farm managers. Also looking at the business plans necessary to achieve the economies of scale that are crucial for new farms to truly take root. The USDA's visit comes as a Center for Land-Based Learning launches a leadership training program aimed at supporting Spanish-speaking farm workers with the skills they need to get a higher paying position in their line of work. Reporting in Woodland, covering local news that matters, I'm Tony Salazar, Fox 40 News.